Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green, the manager of the AFC Wimbledon Wimbly Womblies, who today are taking on Wolfsburg. Wolfs. Wolf. I'm trying to try my British, my, my, my German. Ready, Meredith? Wolfsburg. That was it. Did I kill it, Germans, or did I super kill it? Uh, what a wonderful and amazing thing that the AFC Wimbledon Wimbly Womblies, a team that just seven years ago uh, were playing in the fifth tier of English football. Today, are welcoming uh, Wolfsburg, one of the great teams from the Bundesliga, uh, here in their beautiful gray kits. And I like the fact that they're wearing collars. I like that they respect the Wimbly Womblies enough to dress up. Um, that we're playing them uh, at our stadium. We have brought them here from Germany. Do they have black crotches in there? They do. They do have black. They have green uniforms with black. You see that with the black crotches? That's awesome. Um, and uh, we, we're, we are still in the Euro Europa League. Uh, this is the furthest we have ever made it. It's further than the, the Swoodley Poopers ever made it. This is the furthest uh, I have ever made it um, into the, the Europa League. I am excited and nervous. This is a home and away thing, so uh, the, the score of this game will be combined with the score of the game that we play in Germany, in Wolfsburg. Uh, and those two scores together uh, will be the aggregate and the winner of the home and away aggregate um, will be the winner but there is this thing called away goals. So any goals that we give up to um, Wolfsburg today are very serious because uh, if we are tied, but they have more away goals than we do, um, then they will move on in the, um, in the tournament instead of us. So I like their strategy of wearing outfits that are the exact same color as the pitch. It's smart and I respect smartness, but I also think it's a little bit unprofessional and we like to punish unprofessionalism here at the Wimbley Wombleys. Um, I'm going to take a quiz today. It's, uh, it's going to try to guess my age. They're going to try to ask me what movies I like, and then they're going to tell me how old I am. But little do they know that I'm going to trick them by being young and hip. All right, what's my first uh, question, Meredith? What does the phrase be kind, rewind mean to me? Uh, it means to me a film that came out in the 1990s. I think it was a Michael... Apted film, the guy who did. Oh, it's a great opportunity! It's a goal! It's a goal! It's a goal! The dream is alive! Other John Green, we we are screaming! We are screaming! You can't hear us! He's big. He's tough. He has a ginger puff. Other John Green. Other John Green. What a finish! What a finish with his big, beautiful red head. Hello. Oh, my wife is here. Hi, Sarah. How are you? Good. The Wimbley Wombles just scored against Wolf. Wolfs, Wolfsburg. Wolfs, Wolfsburg. I'm trying to practice my German. Uh, Einsprite. Uh, the one time I went to Germany, I tried. You have to what? Oh, you need, my dr you need your driver's license and it's in my pocket. Hold on. I just dribbled the ball out of bounds. So that I can give you the wallet. Here is the wallet. It has your driver's license in it, as, along with some, some, a credit card or two. Thank you for letting me use those. Sarah has much better credit than I do. Um, so sometimes I just uh, I just pretend to be her. They're like, sir, can we see an ID? And I say, absolutely. Uh, um, uh, oh, gosh. Oh, no, Wolfsburg, we can't give up any away goals. Okay, so the Ein Sprite story is that one time I was in Berlin and I was trying to uh, convince, I was trying to, like, not be a tourist, and so I went up to a bodega and I said, Ein Sprite bitte, but the way that I said it, I was so excited about knowing the word Ein and bitte that I said, Ein Sprite bitte, and the woman just laughed out loud at me. Um, and then she said, would you like a Sprite? Oh, no! Oh, Seb Brown. He saved two penalties against Luton Town, and he saved that there. That's what it means to me. Do you know that movie? Uh, it is a Jack Black movie, yes. Yes. Pick a James Bond. Um, oh, the new one. By definitely the new one. The new, the handsome Daniel Craigie one. Oh, wait, unless, uh, is, he, is he the most recent one available? Brosnan. No, I definitely, definitely not Brosnan. No, I like, Brosnan's your favorite? No, Daniel Craig. No, he's not nearly as handsome as Daniel Craig. Strong disagree. Daniel Craig is, like, ruggedly handsome. Daniel Craig, like, takes off his shirt and it looks through, like he's been through some things. You know what I mean? It looks like he's had a life. Um, and a life that involved quite a lot of weightlifting. My favorite kind of life. What's next? Best Disney movie of all time? Well, unfortunately, that's Fantasia. Um, but if I say that, they're going to think I'm so old. 
It's not even on there. That's how old it is. Um, what are my options? Beauty and the Beast, no. Little Mermaid, definitely not. Frozen, yeah, Frozen probably is the best of those movies. Is there any others that are really good? Aladdin, uh, Lion King is okay. Aladdin, I, Aladdin is all right. I mean, yeah, I mean, I think my favorite of those is Frozen, but then they're probably going to think that I'm a dad, which I am. Now they're going to think that I'm old. Shoot. All right, what's next? Best movie quote of all time? Anything from Rushmore. Is anything from Rushmore on there? These are OR scrubs. Oh, are they? That might be the best movie, movie quote of all time. Um, uh, all right, what are my options? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Definitely not. First off, it's going to make me look old. Secondly, I don't like that movie. I love Lamp. Great, great movie and a great moment in a great movie. Uh, I might go with that one. We're going to need a bigger boat. Uh, I don't even know what movie that's from. Um, is that from Titanic? <laughs> is that from Jaws? That's from Jaws, all right. Uh, I mean, I like I Love Lamp better than that. Oh, panic. Seb, can you get out of the goal, please? Is it halftime? No. All right, what, what else? My personal favorite by Felicia. I don't, oh, okay, just by Felicia. I was like, okay, it's your personal, uh, now I understand. Now I understand. What is, uh, what is by Felicia? Ice Cube and Friday. I love Friday. And I like, uh, but I'm going to, in the end, what? How was that a foul? How was I the fowler in that situation? I was clearly and unambiguously fouled myself. I have suffered. Um, by the way, you can tell the pitch is a little soggy. FIFA is getting almost too realistic. Like, it's becoming too much like playing soccer. Like, if I wanted it to be this much like it, I would just go outside. Um, it's nil-nil. I mean, nil-nil doesn't kill us as long as we don't give up any away goals. Oh, no, it's one-nil. I forgot the goal I scored. Now I'm in a great mood. All right, what's next? Oh, I'm picking uh, I Love Lamp. Favorite movie soundtrack? Uh, I mean, I, 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 I like the Garden State soundtrack better than I like the Garden State movie. Is that on the list? Uh, what is on the list? Guardians of the Galaxy. It had an okay soundtrack, but for me, it was just like reliving my very young childhood. Pretty in Pink, great soundtrack. Pulp Fiction, oh, Pulp Fiction, Pulp Fiction, Pulp Fiction. Because when I was in high school, and they are going to guess my frickin' age, I bet. But when I was in high school, Pulp Fiction, man, that soundtrack, it just, it, 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 was, it was the soundtrack of my teenage years, you know? Get there, get there, show some courage! Get the ball in the back of the net, guys. I told you to show courage, and they didn't. I'm angry. I like courage. Oh, I've been tripped from behind. By the goalkeeper's head. All right, what's next, Meredith? Do I know where what vote from Pedro is from? It is from the movie Napoleon Dynamite. I do know. Does Al Pacino make good movies? <laughs> I mean, that is a... Uh, so, for those of you who don't know, before Al Pacino made really bad movies, like the ones that you've all seen, uh, he made some of the best movies in the history of the world. Like, he was in The Godfather, for instance, arguably, probably one of the ten best American films of all time. And, uh, but now, he makes, like, some of the worst movies that have ever been seen. He played, the, remember that movie that he played the devil in? I think he might have played the devil in two movies, but he's very, very bad. Um, no away goals! No away goals! That's right, focus, guys, focus. Go, ball, John Green. Go. Go on that run. Oh, boy. Boys are getting a little tired. You can just tell it. Might have to, might have to make some substitutions here. All right. Um... Yes, Al Pacino makes good movies. Is Marilyn Monroe a good actress? Ah, I mean, she wasn't great. But I'll say yes. Because I feel bad saying no. Um, she was not my, best, my favorite actress of that, of that era. But, you know, she wasn't terrible. I don't know. She had a lot of problems to deal with. A lot of sympathy for Marilyn Monroe. I would have hated to be her. She was the first person that was sort of like killed by celebrity, uh, which has since become a, a stunningly popular way to die, given how like many people want to be famous. Uh, sorry, off topic. What's next? Who's my teen diva? Uh, Drew Barrymore? Who? Shailene? What? She's not a diva? She's like the least diva-ish person I know. I'm more of a diva than Shailene Woodley. 
Shea, a diva. My God. Do they, do they never talk to her? Um, I mean, I love Shea. I'm always going to pick Shea, I guess. What are my other... Oh, I almost scored there, Meredith. What are my other options? These guys are exhausted. And no tracking back at all. Bald John Green's the only one I can count on. Who else? No. No, not Cher. Maybe it is Shailene Woodley. Jesus. Regina George. I mean, I like Regina George, but I like Shailene a lot more. I'm going to say Shay. And she's my friend. I don't think she's a diva, for the record, but she is really cool. i got to make some substitutions. There's some worn-out bodies on this pitch right now. Okay. Yeah, like Hell's Pels, he's got nothing left. He's been giving it his all. I'm going to bring in Frankenstein for Hell's Pels. going to bring in John McClain, scorer of last week's miracle goal. And I'm going to take off K. St. Luce and bring on uh, Dicko. But then I'm going to, um, yeah, I'm just going to leave Dicko out there. It's perfect. I love, I love those three substitutions. I think that strengthens our midfield, but it also strengthens our attacking ability. I'd really like to win this game 2-0 so I don't have to be terrified of the next game the away leg but ultimately um, any kind of victory without giving them a goal is huge because we do not want them to have an away goal because if we go on like if given if the score ends like this which ah right now it might, might not but if what's wrong I'm sorry what's wrong who got oh for what for having a bad haircut it's not my fault I got a better haircut but then it hasn't shown up in FIFA 15 yet it showed up in FIFA 15 but you know like you can't change haircuts in this game oh Wolfsburg's excited Okay, let's make our substitutions. There we go. Three at once, just like the pros do. Sorry, what was the question? What type of horror movie scares me? All of them. I don't have a type of horror movie that doesn't scare me. I hate horror movies. Uh, what, what, what do you think it is? Uh, the slasher ones are really scary to me, yes. Not psychological, no. The, the slashery ones, the, the violent, those are so scary. Guys, focus. That's really good defending. Whoever that was, you're a hero to your people. Dicko. Dicko. Pay attention. Yes. Yes. I like that a lot. I like that. And then you dribble past the guy, and then you pass the ball, and then he's a little bit faster because he's John McClain, and then he's going to go. Oh, it's a good ball. It's ball. John Green going to get there in time. Oh, that was really good. Meredith, I have to find out. I have to find out what, how old I am. Okay. Pick a movie couple? Um, who? Who, who? Who? No, somebody older. I guess Jack and Rose. That was my freshman year of college. It was very special. We won 1-0. Congratulations to the Wimbley Womblies. Who, how old am I, Meredith? I'm an ageless, annoying film student. Really? But I don't even like movies that much. Ageless? I am kind of ageless, though. I mean, you know. Sorry, Wolfsburg. Life is full of disappointments. At least you get to be sponsored by Volkswagen. Thanks for watching. Best wishes.